how to add product categories to your website in WordPress. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I will show you how you can add product categories to your website in WordPress. So let's get started. First, what you have to do is simply open up your dashboard of WordPress. Let's say you have created a website on WordPress and you want to add product categories. It's an online store and you want to add different products. And when it comes to adding products, we also want to add different product categories. If you have more than one products are for sale. So that's what we will do today. And the process is super easy. So what you have to do is you will simply, you know, open up your dashboard and in dashboard, we get this menu right here. So in menu, what you have to do is simply scroll down, simply scroll down and go to products in products. You will find the option of categories. Let's select this one. And this will allow us to add product categories to our WordPress website. So this is the product category option in here. I can create as many categories as I want to for my different products. So we have to simply fill in uh, these uh, things and add different, you know, um, options. So let's start. The first thing is adding a product name, a new category. So let's go with shoes. Okay. Now we have a slug. This is the URL friendly version of the name. So it is usually all lowercase and contains only numbers and, um, you know, letters. So this is going to be a URL friendly version of my category. Let's say my category was new arrival. Okay. Or maybe, um, anything like, for example, the ethnic designs, we can say that, um, shoes with different kind of shoes maybe heels maybe our sneakers or whatever categories that you have created so you will also add a url friendly version so i'm going to go ahead and again type the word shoes because that's our category uh, then we have a parent category of course because everything has a parent category as well let's say this category was named heels so the parent category is going to be the shoes right and then if it's sneakers then again the parent category is shoe because that's what it is so if it's non um if there is nothing it's not known what kind of category it is so you will go with none or if it is a if it's uncategorized then you can go with that as well i am going with none right now then we have the description of course adding a description for the category that you have so in the description, you will simply add, um, you know, whatever description you want to add for your category, explaining what this category is, uh, what is your products. So for now, I'm just going to write the word description. There you go. The next option is display type. So if it's a default products and subcategory. So this is actually a product that I am going for because it's a product category. So I'm going to simply select product. But if you want to, if it's a subcategory, you can select that. It's a product as well. And it is also a subcategory. So you can go with that. Then we have thumbnail, of course, where you will upload a thumbnail for your category. So I'm going to simply click right here and upload an image from my, you know, uh, computer. Or you can simply go for a different, you know, media library that you already have for your website. So I'm going to go to um, upload files and I'm going to upload the image for my shoe. So this is going to be the thumbnail. And after that, once you've added all the information, you can see if you want to do any bulk actions, because when it comes to adding a category and if you want to, you know, perform any bulk action, bulk action simply means that I can perform one action on multiple categories or on multiple things at, at the same time. It, it's good for list when you are adding a list or something like that. So we, we can perform the bulk action. So once you have added all the information, simply click on add new category and a new product category will be added to your product page on your WordPress website. So now you can see that I have this category and um, you can see this is my category. Now I can simply go ahead and add another one. Let's say I want to add clothes. Then I will add a URL friendly version. Then we have parent category. Then we have description. After that, we have to add thumbnail. Again, click on add new category. 
and it will be added so now i can simply go ahead and add as many categories as i want to once you have added a category then you can simply edit it quick edit delete it view it or make default so if i want to edit this category again i will simply click on add it and i will be able to edit the different information about this category anytime i want to so this will open up again the settings that we did earlier i can now upload i can change the thumbnail again i can change the description so don't worry if you want to change anything about your category you can update it anytime you want to once you have added the category then we can search uh, from here let's say i added shoes right so now i can search for shoes and it will open it up for me and um, i can simply you know access my category in here well if i want to you know again add um different categories i can simply add them if i want to delete any i will simply click on delete a product category as well so this is the way you add a product category and this is how people will be able to choose a category from on your wordpress website when someone will open up your website then they will be able to you know explore different categories and it really helps you if you have an online business and an online store on wordpress with product categories what i can do is i can simply go to screen options as well screen option simply means that what are the different columns that i will be able to show on my page for example with each category so we have an image then we have description slug and count so this is these are the basic columns that i can add if i want to you know um uncheck something let's say i don't want to add a slug or i don't want to add description then i can simply uncheck it and you will be able to see that it will not show here but again if i click on description it will be added right here so this is the basic uh you know settings that we can do then we have a number of items per page most of the people uh, get very confused how to change the number of items per page well you can change them right here for example this is like right now i have three um you know two items per page but you can simply go to 20 if you want to you know decrease it or if you want to increase it you can just simply go ahead and do that for example you can go to up to 25 items and then you can simply go to maybe 15 items per page so let's keep it to 20 and then i will simply click on apply all the different changes that i made will be applied to my settings right here for product categories and after that you will simply click on save and all of your changes will be saved uh, keep in mind that you can delete a category and it will be deleted permanently and so keep in mind whenever you delete something so be sure about it i have deleted one of the categories i deleted in front of you if you want to perform a bulk action you want to delete categories in bulk you can do that as well so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you and now you know everything that you wanted to know and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if this tutorial was a big help to you i tried to tell you everything about the topic and i hope that you understood everything and now you are good to go and don't forget to uh, share this video with your friends and family members so they can also get the information they want to also you can subscribe to the youtube channel the button will be given right down below go ahead and subscribe to the youtube channel also hit the notification bell so every time you get notified when we post a video so yeah also leave a comment down below what was your favorite part and what did you learn from this video or if you have any question so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you and now you know how to add a product category to your wordpress website don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel.